modified F-35B Lightning stealth fighters have joined Britain's biggest warship to begin pushing the boundaries of carrier aviation. By the time aviation experts, pilots and scientists have analyzed all the data gathered during the four weeks of extensive trials, the UK's two aircraft carriers should be able to launch more sorties by more heavily armed stealth fighters faster in more extreme weather conditions, increasingly the striking power of the nation's most powerful warships. HMS Prince of Wales will chase bad weather and heavy seas while the jets themselves will take off and land with various weapons and fuel loads, experiment returning from missions still carrying missiles slash bombs, rather than ditching them in the ocean, and practice landing by rolling to a stop on the flight deck rather than touching down vertically. Test pilots from the Naval Air Warfare Center Aircraft Division, now CAD, Air Test and Evaluation Squadron 23, VX-23, Naval Air Station Patuxent River, Nospax River, Maryland, join the carrier off the eastern seaboard of the U.S. for the trials, known as Developmental Test Phase 3, DT-3. The Portsmouth-based aircraft carrier sailed from Norfolk Naval Station, the world's largest naval base, having embarked the equipment and personnel, a 200-strong test team from the Pax River F-35 Integrated Test Force ITF, specifically for the trials. Our team has trained extensively to prepare for this day, and I was honored to bring the capabilities of the F-35B back out to the Prince of Wales, said F-35B test pilot Major Paul Guckley USMC, the ITF test team project officer. He is one of three experienced Lightning pilots flying special test variants of the F-35B, packed with sensors and instrumentation, on and off the deck of Britain's biggest warship over the next month. Our planning, training, and preparations were focused on conducting a successful sea trial and ultimately contributing to the carrier continually developing to keep it at the cutting edge, Major Gukwa added. Watching from the bridge, Captain Richard Hewitt, HMS Prince of Wales commanding officer, witnessed the approach and vertical landings of the stealth jets. During this phase of our deployment we will see the jet develop advanced landing and takeoff techniques, allowing it to recover heavier, turn around faster, and launch with more weapons, 